We live in a world on the verge of the fourth industrial revolution, or simply Industry 4.0. In just a few years, computers, cars, and even the restless Che Guevara refrigerator will be combined into one network to make our stressful lives easier. Robots will become so integrated into our daily lives that they will end up replacing factory workers. Moreover, the factories themselves will turn into huge machines for production of absolutely any goods tailored specifically to each consumer. The future seems electrifying. But what about those who really work and not write scripts for YouTube videos in the kitchen? Thousands, even millions of people can lose money, and cunning robots will poke metal fingers at us and malignantly giggle. In this episode, we'll cover Industry 4.0 in detail. How it can be useful, how it will change our lives, will you lose your job, and should you be scared of your own refrigerator? Put on your smart glasses, open a can of smart beer, and click our smart bell not to miss our upcoming smart videos. Let's go! We're also giving away an awesome prize, the Mavic Mini Drone. The conditions are simple, watch the whole video to not miss them. Before moving on to Industry 4.0, let's recall how the world changed during previous industrial revolutions. This will help us understand how stunning the scale of the future is. For millennia, people made everything using their hands. Pots, wheels, ships, books, religion… Sometimes, of course, the mills helped. But who would trust these monsters? Cervantes? Therefore, tired of sewing with our own fingers and removing nasty splinters, mankind decided to make life easier for itself. In 1784, the first loom was developed, and in the meantime, James Watt created the first steam engine. Both events marked the start of the first industrial revolutions. Down with the damn corn! We are moving on to mechanical production! Ninety years later, in 1870, Henry Ford installed the first conveyor, and we're opening mass production. Electricity is no longer a terrible toy of the devil, and it's actively being used in the industry. Thank you, Mr. Franklin. A hundred years later, in 1969, the first programmable controller was launched, an apparatus used to automate technological processes. Simply put, a robot. Digital technologies are being introduced into the industry. The first iPhone is just a stone's throw away. 38 years. Each of these revolutions boosted the growth rate of industrial production, influenced society and politics, increased income, and raised the standard of living. Thanks to the first revolution, steam locomotives and steamboats appeared. Thanks to the second one, cars. And thanks to the third, you are now watching this video on your smartphone. True that, not a single revolution has gone smoothly. Thousands of people lost their jobs, being simply unsuitable for new conditions. For example, after the invention of the loom, the Luddites staged protests. They got a name in honor of Ned Ludd, an English worker who allegedly lived at the turn of the 18th to 19th centuries. According to a legend, in 1779, Ludd wrecked knitting machines for cheap stockings as a sign of protest. However, no historical evidence of this has been found. So the first steam and water energy appeared then electricity and assembly lines, then computerization. And what happened next? What came next was the most exciting one out of them all. Today, we are on the verge of the fourth industrial revolution, which is also called Industry 4.0. The fourth industrial revolution will impact our lives completely will not only change how we communicate, how we produce, how we consume, it will change actually us, our own identity. In Industry 4.0, all processes in the enterprise will be united in a certain network, which is monitored by an automated system. Kind of a big brother for machines. With the help of various sensors and digital models, the brother monitors the company's efficiency and suggests which processes can be optimized reduce equipment downtime, track staff deficiencies – you can't sleep at the workplace anymore – and determine the bottleneck that slows down the process. In the distant future, robots will completely replace most production workers. People will only have to control and maintain the machines while taking on the creative responsibilities. 
Therefore, we want to say in advance that we have always considered robots great guys. Glory to robots! Death to humans! It would seem the future is so far away, but the fact is that the tentacles of Industry 4.0 are reaching us right now. Therefore, further, we will talk about technologies closely related to Industry 4.0 and how they are changing production right this second. Do you feel hot? Well, you're a human being, right? Are humans still watching our channel? So, you are hot, and you go to the refrigerator to drink a glass of cola and have a bite of pizza with pineapples. You are a strange person indeed. But the fridge door stubbornly refuses to open. It says in its metallic voice, You have high blood sugar. I processed cola and pizza into a healthy green liquid with vitamin C and coriander. Want some? You don't. No! And you curse the day the Internet of Things appeared. Scared? We bet you are. But wait. Better watch our video about the artificial intelligence of the future, and you'll be even more scared! So, at the core of Industry 4.0 is the Industrial Internet of Things IIoT. Sensors, radio frequency identification tags RFID, software, and electronics are integrated with industrial machines and enterprise systems. Take hospitals. They require a ton of equipment and consumables to operate drugs, syringes, surgical instruments. Previously, this was all manually controlled. It was necessary to fuss with registries and databases. And you were lucky if they were computerized. At the same time, finding something in a huge hospital warehouse is another task. Needless to say, how inefficiently everything was used, how many goods were lost or spoiled, until one company used RFID chips. BJC Healthcare is a healthcare provider that operates 15 hospitals in Missouri and Illinois. The company uses RFID technology to track and manage thousands of medical supplies. RFID technology uses radio waves to read and capture information stored in a tag attached to an object, such as a scalpel or ventilator. Now you don't need to worry about the expiration date of the drugs or the tablets in the warehouse run out. The system itself monitors the necessary data. Since the introduction of BJC technology, it's been possible to reduce the number of products stored in each hospital by 23%. The company is talking about saving about $5 million a year. Thank God we're not frequent hospital visitors. Buying unnecessary gadgets on Amazon, that's a whole other thing. Having appeared in internal testing a year later than originally inspected, Amazon Go is in an attempt to recreate a physical store with the same thinking that led to one-click purchases on the internet. After customers register their unique QR code, the cameras work with the weight sensors on the shelves to accurately track which items customers take and which they take with them. Simply put, when customers leave, they just leave. Amazon Go systems automatically bill goods by sending a receipt to the app. The company says the tracking is accurate enough to distinguish between several people standing next to a shelf and understand which one took a yogurt or a cupcake and who just walked around. The system also knows when people take things and return them, ensuring that Amazon will not attach anyone's milk or chips bills when they just want to read the label. As practice shows, even stealing goods from such a store is difficult. The system will recognize the thief and bill him, and it could have called the police. The next innovation of Industry 4.0, which will change our lives, is of course data processing. There you are, all beautiful and wide-boned, walking into the clothing store for a new t-shirt, and of course your size is out of stock. This happens because now manufacturers are planning how many the buyers will need by approximation. 10,000 small models, 10,000 mediums, 10,000 larges, and so on. And where is my quadruple extra large? Everyone suffers. Manufacturers who didn't guess right with the product, a store that cannot sell it, and customers who cannot find the right one. Where is my huge t-shirt with SpongeBob? And then big data comes to the rescue. 
Big Data is not just another wrapper, but a big and complex data set generated by IoT devices. This data comes from a wide range of cloud and enterprise applications, websites, computers, sensors, cameras, and more. But how can manufacturers transform the collected data into practical business ideas and, most importantly, tangible benefits? By analyzing this data, of course, Supported by a huge set of knowledge and data, machines will be able to produce exactly the quantity of goods that is needed. SpongeBob will be yours, don't worry. Hooray! Mom, did you hear that? Moreover, with the proper level of development and completeness of IIoT implementation in the factory, each consumer will be able to remotely customize the goods he needs. Do you want a DeLorean in leopard color? You are welcome! A new smartphone with a built-in rifle and a nail file? There you go. Do you want your father back? Well, that's not so simple. Speaking of cars, the Mercedes-Benz company already uses a combination of technologies, IIoT and big data, producing its luxury S-Class model at the factory in Sindelfingen. Two identical automobile samples rarely leave production lines. Mercedes-Benz believes that car production will change from large-scale to one-time production, where each car is manufactured according to individual customer requirements. Leopard DeLorean no longer seems like fiction, right? The company claims that the use of data analysis in this way has contributed to an increase in production of more than 10% in certain areas, while improving delivery and customer satisfaction. Ultimately, a deeper understanding of the plant's work contributes to faster decision-making throughout the organization, which helps reduce equipment downtime and streamline production processes. Industry 4.0 is not only a potential increase in industry performance or robots collecting large amounts of data. This is already happening and affecting your life thanks to new products and services, better working conditions, and even healthcare. What does Industry 4.0 mean for consumers? Wearable devices or bracelets will eventually replace smartphones and provide a higher level of data quality. As wearable devices become smarter, a smartphone can fade into the background and become just a second screen. Smart assistants like Siri or Alexa will become part of everyday life for many people. They're doing more than just help you choose another product or find a store with large t-shirts nearby, but also monitor your diet, help in sports, education, drive your car for you, help you bury the corpse of your ex. The list could go on, but manufacturers are certainly preparing to respond to consumer changes and always be ready for them. Market requirements are changing and manufacturers are changing with them. The question is, is it for the better? On February 10, 1996, the world's best chess player, Garry Kasparov, began the match against IBM's first artificial intelligence, Deep Blue. In the first match, Deep Blue, which calculated 200 million steps per second, managed to defeat Kasparov. The victory in this match made Deep Blue the first computer program capable of defeating a world chess champion. Not only that, AI is also developing more and more today. The aforementioned Siri and Alexa are already serving their users, albeit not in such a futuristic manner as we would like. See what we're leading to? Self-learning robots connected to a common AI will eventually be able to produce goods without human intervention, will be able to work where a human simply does not survive, work endlessly without knowing hunger and sleep, and not watch TV shows during working hours. This certainly threatens a monstrous jump in unemployment and a fall in the economy. But there is good news, everyone. AI is not as intelligent as it is commonly perceived. AI cannot emit simple emotions, such as love or hate. AI is just an algorithm that repeatedly studies various data. And while the development moves like an Elon Musk's rocket, the truly clever work is as far from us as the new Star Wars is from adequacy.
And it's contest time! We're grateful you're watching our videos and there's more and more of you subscribing to our channel daily. We would like to express our gratitude by giving away a Mavic Mini drone to one of our subscribers. You can use it to spy on robots so that they don't steal your jobs too fast. Or at least use it as a form of virtual walk if the quarantine gets even harsher. The conditions are simple. 1. Subscribe to BrainFrame. Make sure your YouTube profile is open so that we can check. 2. Like this video. 3. Write any comment below anything, even 10010101. By the way, if you found that funny, you're a robot. That's it! The winner will be selected using random.org among those who followed the conditions. The results will be available in an upcoming video on August 20th. The delivery is on us. Kill all humans. Must kill all humans. Bender, wake up! <laughs> of course not. It's already here. Almost. Even 20 years ago, the creators of Futurama warned us robots are dangerous. They drink like sailors, smoke cigars, and steal everything a telescopic arm can reach. Although it's just Bender, so don't worry, the iron will not rob you in your sleep, the washing machine will not strangle the cat, and the refrigerator will not lead the electrical resistance. Yet. With the advent of new digital technologies, an amazing time has come for the manufacturing industry. The wave of new technologies opens up opportunities for companies to take steps towards greater flexibility, sustainability, and productivity. Industry 4.0 is also driving new ways for people and machines to work together, giving enterprises the ability to reduce the risk of mistakes and make better decisions. Ultimately, Industry 4.0 intends to brazenly and irrevocably infiltrate the manufacturing ecosystem, but only thanks to the understanding and mastery of the technologies underlying it. Manufacturers will be able to stay at the forefront of the new digital era. In the meantime, we will return to the store and try to find this damn SpongeBob t-shirt. Manually. Brain Frame out.